All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the High School Starly League of Legends Winter Championship Semifinals. And after seeing Jackson High School get the victory over Irvington High School, we'll be seeing the other side of the bracket, Cerritos High School versus Mira Mesa High School A. I am Chris Tadekin and actually joined by Shorter Race, which you might have seen last game playing on the side of um, Jackson High School, coming out with the victory in that last game. Shorter Race, welcome to the caster booth deck stream thing. <laughs> hey, Brian. Kaseda Kitson. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Ow. we are to the picks and ban phase of this game, so I'll go in and call these out for you because you're a little bit delayed. So, Shivana Leeson and Evelyn banned out from the side oh, of Cerritos Cerritos. High School, who are the blue team. And we'll be seeing Mira Mesa High School A take out Kasten and Elise and waiting on this last one, but what do you think of these bans so far? I think that Mira Mesa really has focused on that mid lane. Yahoo.com is an extremely gifted player, and he could just solo carry Cerritos. But I think Cerritos is really focused on putting a lot of pressure on their jungle, Brandon, I mean, on either side, and they just want to take him out of the game, really, because he puts a lot of pressure on the map. Yep, so we'll be seeing the first pick from Cerritos High School is actually the Ziggs, um, going to be coming out here most likely for the mid laner Yahoo.com, which uh, as some of us might know, he is a very strong challenger player. And actually going back over to um, just talking about Cerritos High School, that we saw them in their quarterfinals matches absolutely crush through the opposition and pick up the victory in a 2-0 victory very quickly. Their uh, teammates were the Staten Island Technical High School. And uh, unfortunately, they didn't do too well versus Cerritos High School. So, we seeing them coming up against Mir Mesa High School A. And uh, as you're saying, Yahoo.com is definitely something that they have to watch out for. So, the Ziggs pickup coming out. What do you think of the Ziggs? I think Ziggs is a really safe pick. It's like, you can always pick Ziggs in a comp because he's, he's just such a safe pick. His satchel helps him escape. He can just poke from range. And you can't really counter a Ziggs mid lane with any pick. Yeah, so it looks like we will be seeing the Vi and the Jinx combo coming out here. So, uh, what do you think of these two? I think, I wonder how Vi is going to work out in this comp. I feel like it's going to be really hard to kill Ziggs as Vi. If you engage too hard on Ziggs, you could be caught out because you can go too far if you satchels while Vi ultimate. Yeah, so we'll be seeing... The Vi and the Jinx coming up here, and they're actually going to be hovering over, ooh, Leona. Oh, hovering over God. Blitzkrink and Mundo. Top lane Mundo, of course. That's a tear. No, okay, they're switching it up. Okay, I'm not even going to say it. No. Huh? Hecarim? Hecarim? Such a oh, no. What? He's going to take Hecarim. Is he? I hope he does. I don't Hecarim? think so. Oh, no, they're going to lock in Mundo and Leona. They're it so hard. What, what are you heck? saying? What are you saying, Shorter Race? I don't know what I'm the top lane Mundo and the support Leona. It keeps switching. <laughs> it's top lane Mundo and support Leona, or at least that's what we're thinking so far. That could be Jungle Mundo as well. Yeah. Jungle Mundo is really strong, especially against Vi. I don't think Vi is able to do Mundo in the jungle, so. Well, they're actually hovering over, it looks like a Karma. The Karma and Nori, yeah, this could be interesting. These guys are definitely picking out some interesting champions. If it does come down to the... Actually, I don't want to actually talk about it. So what do you think about support Leona? How do you think that will fare against the Jinx? And who do you think um, Cerritos High School should pick up for the AD carry to go with the support Leona? For AD carry, I really think they should pick up Draven. Like, Karma and Jinx, they can kite away the enemy team all day. But with Leona Draven, if they get at least a Zenith Blade, then they'll either targets. Yep, okay, so it is going to be the Oriana and Lulu locked in here for the side of Mira Mesa High School A. And so we're going to be seeing Yahoo.com going up uh, on the six, going up against, uh, I actually forgot who the AP carry for, um, hold on, for uh, Mira Mesa High School A. I'm going to go ahead and check my notes really quickly, but how do you think, what do you think about the Ziggs versus Oriana matchup? Ziggs versus Oriana? I think if Oriana can get can kill Zig solo with her ultimate by using her ultimate to take Ziggs out of his satchel, they can win fight. Because Ziggs is gonna be really hard to kill. If he's able to shockwave 
Ziggs before he satchels. I think they'll win the fight. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be having the Lucian and the Jarvan locked in here. Jarvan, so this could probably be me to top Jarvan in the jungle. Of course, Lucian, Leona down bottom lane. What do you think about, you know, just Jarvan in the jungle now? We haven't seen him too often. What do you think of him just, like, you know, in the new 3.1 for a patch? I really don't like Jarvan in the jungle. He's, like, ever since they nerfed the, the flag dragon strike combo, it's bit really hard to aim, and his sustain in the jungle is really weak. Like, it's so hard to farm with Jarvan, especially against Vi, who can farm the jungle safely, do more, put out more damage than Jarvan, and also get hard engages on any target that they pick. All right, well, hovering over Rengar, which would be actually a really nice pick if they picked up this Rengar. It has a lot of synergy with uh, with the oh. team that's already been picked up here by Mira Mesa. They have Lulu and they have Orianna, two ultimates which can be applied to... Um, one of their allies to get CC around them, pretty much making like a Malphite or something like that. It's only on a Shockwave and the Lulu Wild Growth. They can apply onto Rengar, who goes invisible. So they apply it to him, and it's pretty much CC out of okay. nowhere. Or they apply onto Vi, who can instantly go back, or not instantly, but can go back into the back line of the enemy team, uh, just invulnerable with the uh, Assault and Battery. So this could be a really nice team fight composition coming out of this side. Uh, Mira Mesa High School A, and he had Jinx onto that. She's a great team fighting AD carry. But we look over at Cerritos High School. Uh, Shorty Race, what do you think of Cerritos High School's um, team fight potential? I mean, if Mira Mesa is able to catch them out, they can lose the team fight completely. Like, as long as Ziggs is able to get harassed down on the enemy team, I don't think it'll be a problem for Cerritos. But if the submarine combo works from Rengar's ultimate and Orianna's shockwave, then Mira Mesa will win. It depends on who engages first. Whoever gets the good engage wins the game, basically, off this. Yeah, so we are into the three-minute spectator delay. And uh, before we get into the game, we'd like to give a shout to our sponsors, which you can also find on our website, lol.hsstarly.com. The sponsors would be Twitch, Gunner, Jinx, as well as uh, Battlefy. And, of course, uh, I guess not really sponsored, but helping support is Riot. So most of these guys help support... Uh, help prize the tournament, providing a lot of their apparel. For instance, Gunner is actually providing like a uh, a Gunner glasses package for the winners. It's gonna be Twitch shirts and Jinx uh, shirt coupons as well in the mix. You can all see that much uh, better explained on the website that I just linked into the chat. So guys, check it out there. And uh, we'll be right back to you with this set. first game of the semifinals, best of three matchup between Cerritos High School and Mira Mesa High School. A Guys, stay tuned, and we'll be right back.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the High School Star League League of Legends Winter Championship Semifinals. We're here with the first match of the best of three stages between Cerritos High School and Mira Mesa High School A. My name is Crusader Kinnan here with Shorter A's going to be bringing you this game as uh, the teams go ahead and get onto the map. Uh, if you guys don't know Shredder Ace, he was just playing, he just won the semifinals, and he'll be in the grand final, so we'll be seeing him, um, I believe next Saturday, January 11th, playing versus the winner of this best of three. So, Ryan, what do you think uh, of these teams uh, and just what they're doing so far? I feel like waiting for a purple team to face check, but purple team is just trying to get vision of where they're at. They have Oriana Ball in the bush, so they're, they're really trying to get vision right now. And they're just, they're just waiting. Like, I don't think they're gonna do anything aggressive. They're they're waiting for each other, somebody to make a mistake. Yeah, definitely, definitely looks like both teams are looking for some sort of early engage. Although they are kind of on opposite sides of the map, so probably won't happen. Looking over, I'm actually seeing completely mirrored item sets for everybody. They have seen trinkets. They have seen items and oh. everything. They think that we might go for an invade right here. Amazing. Yeah, actually, it looks like both of them might be going for the invade. We still do have. Uh, I can't tell you, and Brandon. And as I say that, they're actually gonna be going down. Actually, oh He's no! Starting red buff. Yeah, and actually, we're seeing. Hold on, what? Is, what is this that uh, <laughs> Cerritos High School is sitting in the tri bush right here? I feel like this is something that we've seen before. In it, that we've seen your uh, team doing. Uh, oh, okay, they're not going for the kill. Oh, oh. they didn't check. Dang! It could have. That was that was something very similar to what your team has done before. Anyways, they'll go ahead and pick up this blue buff here, and they'll steal it away. And it doesn't seem that Mira Mesa High School A notices this at all. If Vi doesn't go to the enemy blue buff, they're going to be down above. Yes, yeah, so they can definitely start getting this, uh, this buff advantage going for the side of Cerritos High School here. However, coming into lane, what do you think we'll be seeing from these lanes? Like, uh, as a jungler, what do you think the first gank will be coming down? The first gank usually comes down at top lane because of how easy it is to gank. Because nobody usually has a ward. But the trinket system makes it so they're going to be able to have wards on the map early on. Yeah, so we'll have to see where these guys go. Of course, uh, Vi just goes ahead and checks the blue buff, finds that it's not there. And actually, uh, DK Rub is just going to go overdo his red buff. Didn't pick up his blue buff just yet, so... We'll go ahead and leave that a little bit longer. And actually, first blood comes down, Yahoo.com picks it up against Iron Sight. And already, we're going to be seeing Yahoo.com three minutes in pick up this first blood. And as you're saying in champion select... He's a pretty scary mid laner. <laughs> he played really aggressive right there. He knew Vi couldn't gank him because he had vision of him on the map with the ward at blue buff. So he just took advantage of Vi having no pressure on the map and was able to pick up a kill solo. Yeah, really well done by him. And this is probably going to get the, start getting the ball rolling for himself here as he's been able to pick up that early first blood. I think it's the earliest first blood we've seen today coming out from these guys. Uh, just from the teams overall, in the matches we've seen today. It's like top lane, we're actually seeing some heavy training as well. Flawless and I can't tell you. Uh, fighting up top lane, we're seeing a really heavy push coming out of Flawless right now. And uh, what do you think of the Mundo versus Rengar matchup? Rengar versus Mundo, it's really hard to tell who will win the lane. If Rengar gets five stacks of his ferocity, he can always heal up. But Mundo, is, his, just, like, his health regen is really good. I don't know how this matchup will go, but... We'll see. Yeah, I guess you know it might depend on like jungler intervention, thing that can uh, things that can come out. However, they're both sort of farming with top laners. I can tell you actually hiding in the brush as uh, of course Rengar is like to do. But I'm really interested to see obviously these teams and how they play on the team fight phase because we were talking about champions like they have really nice team fighting teams, but of course they got to get there first, and uh, we'll be setting it off with the laning phase. Driver wants to go for a lane gank top lane. He knows Vi can't intervene with him because of how weak Vi is. Being down one buff. Yeah, he was able to pick up that second blue, so he will be sneaking on into here. Flawless is slightly pushing this lane, so he's gonna stop DK Rep from getting into this next bush, which will be, be a little bit awkward. He might not actually be able to get a gank off. Oh, oh no, maybe. Oh. Vi's trying to come in mid lane, but there's a ward. Yeah, he'll be seeing by this ward if he does try to go in. Uh, we'll sad to see how Yahoo.com can play this one now, and actually. Looks like he came in and she just backs out. 
Yeah, yeah, calm. You're gonna be safe for uh, in that bottom lane for a while. Probably has that shot to harmony. Has some nice mana regen going for himself. And is uh, looking good so far in that middle lane. Demon Blade oh. lands down bottom lane. Somebody taking a lot of damage here. Throws down the flame chompers. And is able to stop the pursuit there, but she does take quite a bit of damage. If Lulu didn't use his Hex right there, I think Jinx would have went down because the Hex takes off Lucian's spells and auto tags for about one and a half seconds. So if he had that one and a half seconds to keep going on Jinx, he would have got the kill. Alright, so... 1-0, the set is now 5 minutes in, haven't seen too much after that 3 minute first blood coming out of Yahoo.com. And these teams are definitely obviously slowing it down, you know, it's in the early game, you don't get as much gold or, you know, as much gold and whatnot coming out from early kills. It's like top lane though, we're seeing some nice training going in favor of, I can't tell you, he's actually holding his own up in this top lane, now he's getting the regen in. I really think Jarvan... Shouldn't be this far behind his CS. He's trying to waste too much time ganking. Well, Bai is already a level ahead of him, even though he's down one buff. He's wasting way too much time trying to gank lanes, and he hasn't got a successful gank off yet. Mega Friend of Bomb actually is coming down to this bottom lane. They'll get a gank off of this one. Flash away! Right in Blaze lands. Uh, Zing the Blade, of course. Now will connect because of that flash. Nice attempt to gank there, trying to get a. Uh... Some global map presence off there using the uh, Ziggs Mega Inferno Bomb, though. We'll be forcing somebody out of lane possibly a while later, but they just push up the wave and back off. Alright, so looks like bot lane is not gonna go back. They keep canceling, they keep canceling their recalls, man. Let's name only go ahead and clear out this wave. Uh, Superdust High School is trying to keep this pressure there, trying to deny as much CS as they can away from the bottom of Mirror Mesa High School A. They're gonna go ahead and go back. This is gonna be seeing some early items coming up. Double Dorn's Blades and a Vampire Acceptor from somebody here. So he is going for a little bit of really damage as well, some nice sustain. And Jinx really wants to win lane. He's been really behind in the lane. Actually, they're even, but in the laning phase, they've been getting harassed nonstop. And that should help him with his sustain in lane. He'll be able to keep up with Lucian and Leona's poke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Oh, Pink Boy gonna get taken out. And possibly not by DKRP. He walks back to take it out. You can come over the wall. And he took a lot of damage right there from Brandon. And Brandon he, he just walked back in there. Yeah. The pink ward. He really wanted that Pink Boy. He's able to get in and get out pretty much. Uh, just losing a little bit of health there, but... He'll be fine after that, able to clear up the pink boy, get some nice gold for himself, denies a little bit of vision. But then I'll go ahead and back off. Looks like uh, Mirror Mesa High School able to get their second blue buff uh, this time around. Not gonna get it stolen away here. There's actually near a lull. Goals for the BF sword early. What do you think of that, just the damage coming out on Lucian? Because we've seen quite a few different builds that come, come out of Lucian players. Usually, you'd see a Trinity Force early on Lucian, but Lucian is just looking for raw damage. She wa he wants to kill Jinx. And with Leona, that is really possible since Leona can get a hard engage off on either target. He's looking for blood. Yeah, definitely. He's really looking to kind of pay back for all the, uh, the buffs, the early buffs that like, came down. It looks like he might be able to pick out. This red buff, and he's actually gotten a little bit more dominant in this jungle, obviously. He's at level 8, he's hit level 6. Which is really nice for you, actually, if the, if his team wants to go for a team fight, DK Rupp has just, excuse me, hit level 5. And that's devastating if they go for a team fight. Um, just not having the ultimate compared to, um, who is it? Brandon already having his assault and battery up. Because it's just not good right now for Serena's high school. They have to wait a little bit to get a fight on, but... It has to be Mir Mesa High School A, obviously, to put on the pressure to use that advantage. And, like, right now, Vi is just farming. She's power farming. Her strength in the jungle is being able to do, put out a lot of damage and also farm really well. Jarman isn't getting any farm at all. Bottom lane looks like we're going to be seeing an engage coming. God fear all these guys have hit level 6 and the cooling will be coming up. Barry being used while good as well. Somebody we used the wild growth flash away from New Era Lull to get out of the Super Mega Death Rocket. And that trade's going to go even with it. Nobody dying. And looks like we'll be seeing these guys stay in lane a little bit longer. But New Era Lull is actually going to be forced to back out there. And that wild growth really able to help 
uh, help somebody just soak up damage. And top lane is looking like a, really a farm lane. They just keep sustaining off their abilities and keeping up in CS with each other. Yeah, they're obviously going for some nice tankiness. Both of them have giants, but one has a chain vest. Uh, that, of course, being Mundo. And right now, goes and picks up a Negatron cloak. So they're pretty much building similarly. Actually, they're building pretty much exactly the same, just uh, a little bit different in terms of armor and MR, which they need to itemize, uh, you know, according to the matchup here. But the same, they are just continually pushing it up here. Flawless is really pushing up this lane, actually. And uh, I can tell he's just relying on his tower to push it back. And I'll just go ahead and keep farming up your 82 CS to 82. It's pretty much David. Actually, they're going to be training out now here. Ignite though now into Flawless from I can't tell you. We're going to reduce some of his healing here. As actually Mufasa gets caught out by three. Flame Choppers are down. He gets caught. Zap comes out. And Spaz 24. WTF picks up the kill. One to one now in favor of nobody. And Subidus High School is actually going for the... No, Mir Mace High School A is actually going for the Dragon. There's top lane trades coming down. And Dragon... Jaren wants to go for a steal. Well. Oh, Mega Inferno Bomb! Oh, oh he misses it! The way. Lulu picks up the kill and the dragon there! Shockwave comes off, DK Rep gets blown up and taken out! We're near a low coming in from the side, picks up one kill, the cooling over the wall! Is unable to find the second kill, Iron Side meanwhile trying to run away, Bouncing Bomb comes out! Trying to chase after, he's so close to going down the shield, saving flash, auto attack, Yahoo.com picks up the kill! 3-2 now in favor of Cerritos High School, Mira Mesa High School A picking up the dragon has a very slight gold advantage. Jarman almost got that. It lived with around 100 HP and literally just auto attacked it and was able to pick it up. Yeah, so after that, it's actually going to be dead even in terms of gold now with all this coming down. Top lane's still a farm lane, so Shorters, what do you think went well, went well for those two teams uh, in that team fight? Or what well, well, what well, what what? <laughs> These tongue just is what went wrong and what went well. Well, first off, Leona got cut out from a previous engagement at bot lane, and Lucian was able to get off so much damage because of his high range. And also, Jarvan didn't we really got focused down really hard, so Lucian was able to just annihilate people, as, along with Ziggs, because Ziggs has really high range, so he could hit them over Dragon Wall the whole time. I think that if they were close up together, they would have lost, but they abused their range, which is really good on... Cerritos this part. Yep, so they're into the kill lead here. No tires is coming out just yet, 12 minutes in. And uh, we'll be seeing if they decide to go for it here. Looks like Ping's coming off onto Vi, Brandon in the jungle. And the kills have definitely been coming off a little bit more sparsely here uh, as we get into a little bit later into the laning phase. Right now, it looks like a tender ganks might be coming out. DK erupt as well as Brandon hovering around the bottom side of the map, but Word coverage is pretty much going to stop most of these attempted ganks. And we see Jarvan trying to sneak up in the bot lane, but there's a ward in the first push. I wonder if he's still going to go for it. Yeah. And Byte coming around the corner, he wants to counter kick this. He sees, he sees Jarvan in that bush. They want to fight this three on three. Miramisa can definitely win this fight, two to Byte being really strong compared to Jarvan. Yeah, especially just, you know, whoever, pretty much whoever gets a counter gank is going to win out the fight. Because all the engage spells would have been blown already from the first jungler. The second jungler comes and has his abilities up. And he can really put down the pain here. But it looks like both of these gangsters are just going to get backed out on. And they're just going to return to the jungle here. So not going to be seeing this coming out just yet. And uh, Vi just wants to farm as much as he can. Like, he's making Jarvan waste his time bot lane. Wait, actually he's coming in for the counter kick again. I don't think that <laughs> Miramisa wants to engage us though. Yeah, they're gonna be, uh, they were waiting, they were just waiting for the counter gank, or for the opportunity for them to get a counter gank. Yeah, that's pretty much really what they want to go for, but I'm gonna be finding that, uh, DK Rupp playing a little bit back. Oh, there's a pink ward coming down. They'll go ahead and take it out. And, uh, <laughs> they're gonna keep this bottom lane stalemate on for a little bit longer. Brandon, though, he just goes back to jungling, and he's two levels ahead at DK Rupp's right now. And Jarvan finally gets out. He really needs that farm. He's already two levels behind, even though he was up one, one blue buff over Brandon. Yeah, definitely. Uh, coming into the later parts of this game, that first buff advantage has not worked out too well later on. So, Valen, we're just gonna be seeing the pushing, and it looks like they're just going to go ahead and go back and do golems. 
Top lane, still a farm fest here. Flawless is actually looking pretty low. I can tell you, he's actually chugging him down, but he does have the ultimate going to heal himself back up. So, 15 minutes in, they're gonna be slowing this one down. Goldie just slightly in favor of Mira Mesa High School A. This dragon's actually gonna be respawning in about two minutes. If they actually comes to a dragon fight, who do you think would have the advantage in it? When it comes to team fights, I would expect Mira Misa to have the advantage. If Rengar uses his ultimate and Orianna can get the shockwave off on at least two to three targets, they will definitely win the fight. But if Cerritos is able to get all their damage off with, with Yahoo.com Ziggs on one of the carries, either Jinx or Orianna, Cerritos will win that fight completely. Yeah, and so you also have to be careful of the heavy engage, as you were saying, the shock weapon come off, and also the vice on battery is there to close some gaps and uh, get onto a carry, so they obviously have to be careful of that. And um, so far though, it seems like Rengar and Moon are very content to stay up top lane, so they might have to just rely on the uh, engage from Vi, or Mira Mesa probably will have to rely on the engage from Vi to go for kind of the shock wave. So, Looks like teams are just going to keep onto this farming lane here, 16 minutes in, this game is starting to get a lot slow. As tower pushes and uh, group pushes are very seldom, as much unlike uh, the games you saw from the last days, you saw like heavy, you know, like tower pushing, like from your team, you saw really heavy tower pushing and objective uh, takes, and actually bottom lanes, the interplay lands, going for burst onto somebody here, there's a wild growth coming off, the bandit coming across the side though, with this on battery under the tower here, new arrow low goes down spaz. Once again, picking up the kill. DK Rep comes in, but too late. That'll be a kill going over in favor. Oh, and the Gunfredo bomb. bomb coming down the barrier and the shield soaking up the damage. Somebody able to survive. And I really think Miramisa just wants to farm this out. Their late game is really strong compared to Cerritos. Shockwave in the middle lane, Yahoo.com jumping away with the Satchel Charge. He's turning this around to Iron Sight though. Brandon's coming in to help it out. The nice sticking out Iron Sight goes down to Yahoo.com. Yahoo.com not trying to run away from Brandon, but the red buff and the auto attack slow him down. Picks up the kill, shutdown coming in. And Brandon is the one to take out Yahoo.com. And I can't believe Yahoo.com turned that around right there. He got cut out by the Shockwave, but. He's able to put out so much damage that Orianna wasn't able to Yeah, so now we'll be seeing dragons attempted here by Mir Mason. They should be able to pick this one pretty easily. Uh, the side of Cerritos High School can't really do too much against this. And uh, looks like he will get the dragon. Second dragon of the game going over to Mir Mesa High School A. Eh? Now slightly in head and gold. About 1,700 in the lead right now. As and, they're doing very well. And Miramisa is slowly winning this game. The more farm they get, the, strong, the stronger their late game will be. Because their late game is really strong compared to Cerritos. They keep getting gold slowly from the enemy team and dragons and objectives. And they've been utilizing a top lane flawless tanks. I can tell. He just absolutely tanks him there with the ultimate. And takes out the, the first tower for Cerritos High School. That will be going down there, and Flawless, uh, getting that push out there. He has Sunfire Cape up. Same thing, actually, for I can't tell you, they're actually building the exact, they have the exact same things in the inventories right now. Sunfire Cape, uh, the Spectre's Cal, Dorn Shield, Boots of Swift Speed. They have gone for the exact same mirror build. It's pretty I ridiculous. I don't think... Anybody top lane will die. They have the same. They have the same CS as well. It's amazing. The sustain is real. made for each other. Anyways, right. bottom lane. Oh, there's a dive coming off. There's a shockwave onto two. New arrow log gets bursted down. Ironside gets the kill. DK Rout throws in the Calchism. There's a mega friend bomb coming down. Picks up the kill onto somebody for Yahoo.com. Although we do see Mufasa going down. DK Rout as well. Brandon with the finisher kill there. Now I'll be seeing Yadi.com trying to come into this bottom lane, but not too sure if he can do too much. Meanwhile, top lane Flawless stays up here. He's actually really low. I can tell he's looking for the kill onto him. He fixed it oh. up. Flawless staying a little bit too long there. Meanwhile, bottom lane Yahoo.com is getting taken down. That's the ace. 19 minutes in. The ace actually coming out there from oh the Mason High School A. <laughs> Iron Sight on Orianna really played that well. He balled onto Vi, and Vi got the song battery on two targets. And he was able to shockwave and just burst down 
two of pre three targets. Yeah, and they really you and the follow coming after that was just done so well right there. So go ahead, see those, see them pick up the five kills now, four kills in the lead, four thousand gold ahead as well. And what do you think Mir Mesa High School has to do to just continue this advantage? I mean, they really want to try to siege down a lane, but with Ziggs, there's too much wave clear on the map for them to able, be able to just try to push a lane. I guess they just want to try to get the late game and wait for Cerritos to make an aggressive move on them, since the wave clear from Yahoo.com will be able to stop them from pushing any lanes. Yep, so... Looking over at the item builds coming in here, of course, Spirit Visage coming out for Mundo. It's coming up, uh, no, coming up for Vanguard, coming up soon for Mundo. We're also seeing the Locket build coming out from Brandon. What do you think of the Locket actually on Vi? Because we've seen a few iterations of Vi builds. I think we saw like a Trinity for us the last time we saw Vi. What do you think of the Locket pickup for? So, for Vi, there's two different kind of builds. There's like the tanky Vi, and there's the aggressive by it, where you get Elder Lizard, Black Cleaver, and the tanky one is like Ancient Golem, Locket, Randoons, and he really just wants to be a huge support for his team. He doesn't want to be able to kill carries, he just wants to be able to get in there and not get melted down so quickly. That is really good with their comp, so Orianna can do most of the damage in the fights. Yeah, so Brandon actually getting died right now by Flawless here. He goes for the assault and battery. Flawless still tanking it up. Iron's like coming in here as well with the shield to help him out. Brandon is able to live. The Flawless has to run away. He has the passive, da uh, the ultimate down, and he actually goes down. And Miramisa is really playing like a team right oh, here. Oh, Cataclysm coming in onto this middle lane. DK Rub finds a kill at the Spaz. And they just blew it up. And oh, this Super Mega Death Rocket comes and picks up somebody. Miramisa's rotations have been really good this game. They, If they see one of their lanes in trouble, they just rotate up and help them out to pick up more kills. Yeah, it's 6 to 11 right now. Dragon just spawning in a minute 30. And so far, this game has been looking really good for Miramisa High School. A 9, 3, uh, 3, 0, and 6 actually on Brandon. He has the highest kill participation on his team. And even after the blue buff getting stolen away from him, he has done work around the map. Brandon is really playing well. I've, like, he lost his blue buff, which lo made his ability to farm really difficult. And he's still, like, two levels above Jarvan. Yeah, definitely just has been doing so well for himself here. Looking over at other item buys, we'll be seeing the Trinity Force coming up soon for New Era LOL. Also seeing somebody has a blood there, so it looks like going for possibly the Phantom Dancer or the Static Shift now. Which one do you think he'll go for there? He'll definitely go Static Shift. Static Shift is really strong on Jinx. Okay, uh, we'll be seeing them, or the team of Mirror Mesa High School uh, is actually roaming down bottom lane. They've moved all the members down to the bottom side of the map. Oh, they want to dive this mid lane. Yeah, they're definitely looking for it. They have the team to do it. Although, Yahoo.com does have some nice wave play. He's staying at 234 CS, 235. The most in the game right now. And yeah, definitely has a nice amount of wave clear for himself. Oh, I can tell you actually coming up top lane to go onto Flawless. Comes out of the ultimate, but he's going up against the Mundo. It's not too sure how well that will go out for him there. And he has to stop that push because Mundo has just been pushing this lane 24-7. And I don't think rank unless something surprising happens. Yeah, but we'll be f they'll keep this fighting going on here, jumping right back out of the bush. Flawless pops the ultimate, and we'll continue running away. It throws a cleaver for good measure. And looks yeah. like they will go ahead and back off. What were you saying? <laughs> oh, Rengar is not is not gonna be able to kill Mundo. I don't think with. With Mundo sustained with the Spirit Massage and the armor bonus from Sunfire, he's going to be able to do so much damage, especially with this Cleaver. Yeah, so this Dragon has been set up here by Cerritos, and they'll go ahead and disengage off of it. They have all five members here. Actually, all five members for both teams coming down here. Brandon getting onto Yahoo.com. They want to take out this APK. He's able to get away. Coley coming off the side onto Ironside. He gets blown up here. He'll go down. Shut down. And now Brandon is under a lot of fire, I can tell you as well. They're chasing after Spaz, they take him off Flawless with the kill. Brandon going down as well, a double kill so far.
coming out for a new era lol somebody and brandy the only ones left alive and they have to run away from this fight and this is Cerritos High School coming out with a team fight victory. They pick up the dragon. What went well for them in that fight? It just looks, it was looking really good for me. Mesa High School A. But Cerritos High School somehow find the three for non victory. And I think Cerritos High School played that really well. They split up and were able to not take so many, so much damage from the shockwave. And also, Jarman blocked the Jinx missile, which was able to save, at save one of the targets on Cerritos. He would get blown up if he got hit by the missile, and possibly have died. Yeah, so after that, it's going to be a really nice fight there from Cerritos. Do you think they can continue on with this, that, with that kind of team fighting? It depends on, like I said, at the beginning of the game, whoever gets engaged. Rengar didn't have his ultimate because he used it to go and try to kill Mundo top lane, but he wasn't able to get a kill. He was just able to push out the lane. Yep, so we'll be seeing the mid tower fall right as uh, the side of Mira Mesa High School A come back up. Kind of, something you kind of see when the team goes down. Uh, you know, the other team will just they win out the team fight. They get over get a bunch of objectives, but they go back a little bit later. The next the other team comes back up. They find an objective for themselves. So see on Baron's dragon's towers like we just saw there. And actually, fight starting to come up around the dragon pos or uh, Baron possibly talisman of ascension used there. It looks like Mayor Mesa High School isn't looking for a fight, but it's actually 4v5. So, look we'll go ahead and back out of this one though. I guess a little bit scared because of the last fight didn't go too well. And actually, Flash Solar Flare lands the slows. No stun, so Shockwave onto oh. 3. Super Mega Deathmark tanked up by Flawless. Who wants to engage? This is going to be Jarvan coming in there. Meanwhile, Brandon coming out to the back lane, trying to get to Yagdok. How much again? We get shut down by New Era LOL. Splash 24 has a wild growth onto himself. DK Rep went down to somebody. Iron Sight takes out Mufasa. Night chasing after Flawless, trying to tank it up, but it's a few too many damage sources getting onto him, so he'll have to back out. So far, two for one in favor of Mira Mesa High School A, and it looks like this will be the disengage. Oriana was with her ultimate, which made Serios out of, so really out of position that fight. And also, Bio went in way too far in. He tanked four targets of Cerritos. But Mira Mesa was able to clean up the rest of the fight since everybody wasn't focused on, like, Jinx didn't take any damage that fight. Oriana didn't take any damage that fight. It's because Bio was in the front the whole time. And also Rengar. Yeah, they were trying to save Yahoo.com who was being dived on once again by Brandon. Brandon, of course, not quite tanky enough to tank uh, the entire team of Cerritos High School, but uh, was able to allow his team to... Well, he, he went down, but he allowed his team to, as you say, clean up up the team fight and this is static ship as you predicted on the jinx good and job good job ryan or orion's haunt like neandres she's looking to shred down mundo because mundo is really tanky and orion's neandres will do more damage to mundo than if she bought death cap and also they're relying on the oriana ultimate if they don't get another oriana ultimate like that they're gonna lose the game because yeah i mean Cerritos high school is ahead right now in gold even though the kill difference is is in favor of Miramisa. A talisman of ascension though. Uh, Ren and talisman of ascension coming up. Isn't quite able to get in and engage onto anybody. I'm gonna go ahead and back out after that. Looking over the word coverage, just pretty much going back and forth here, but Cerritos High School definitely starting to put a lot more down around the map. They actually have three pink wards in one area. Just have a lot of vision con control over the just the barren pit and the surrounding area of it. Actually, looks like Brandon is trying to clear the ward. He might get jumped on, and there's this inflate coming up onto Brandon. He wants to go back in here. He's actually going for Yahoo.com, but can he go for it? Yahoo.com flashed out Calcus and comes up, making a freedom bomb as well. I can tell he's trapped inside the Cataclysm with the wild growth and the. Sh oh my god. Oh my and god. Oh my god, they clean up the double kill right there. Somebody picking it up. There's a great combo for I can tell you to live. However, Flawless, he wants to re engage. He's trying to get some tank going. Somebody now taking fire gets shut down by New Era LOL. And they're still going to be chasing after Flawless at the front of the team, chasing after three members of Mira Mesa High School, throwing out the cleavers. He's still chasing after. New Era LOL is getting in there to put down some damage, but it looks like the remaining members of uh, Mira Mesa High School A will be able to disengage. And Oriana perfect ultimates. There, he's able to take out at least two out of the team fight. Oh man, so that was just some great cleanup and follow up coming out of this side of Cerritos High School, able to pick up, uh, I think a bit of a better victory or a bit of a better 
few more kills in that team fight unless Brandon stops Yahoo.com from backing. He does. <laughs> Yahoo.com goes down. Brandon finding him out there, and uh, obviously he's Google to find him out there. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyways, Flawless is gonna get chased down to my band and he'll just go ahead and back out, but he'll be fine. So 12 to 16, actually in favor of Cer uh, me and Mesa High School right now in terms of the kills, but Gold's still in favor of Cerritos. And this game is really back and forth. Like, at one point you'll see, but then you'll see me and Mesa get up like a perfect engage, and then they're in the lead as well. Yeah, we've seen some really back and forth games today. Uh, pretty much all of the all of the games that we've seen, on all the matches that we've seen, you know, your team's matches, Jackson High School versus. Uh, wow, well, I told you, I already blanked out on the name. Okay. Uh, oh, Irvington. Irvington, yeah, Irvington. Gosh, I could have figured that. Irvington was able to uh, was really back and forth. You know, the first two games, second, uh, third game, not as much. But just thinking once again in this game, thirty one minutes in. And it's pretty much anybody's game right now. It's all depending on the engage. Like you've said, and Flawless will be caught out trying to clear out the dragon of the Baron Pit of Wards here. He'll be taking some damage. Megan Fritterbaum will be coming across. Doesn't land on too many people. Flawless, he's taking up five members and he's still trying to run away from this one. You can see he's a lot. That will take him down, but he he ran like all across the river right there. <laughs> oh man, able to survive for, for a really long time, however, he still goes down in the end, and there wasn't too much blown there from the side of Mira Mesa High School, and they might set up on the Baron. And I'm pretty sure Mira Mesa can do this. When you go for a Baron steal, you're going to be grouped up, and Iron Sight will get the opportunity to do a perfect shockwave, if anything. Colin going to be coming off here, Brandon dives in, he's going for New Era Lull, this time shockwave comes off, Brandon goes down to New Era Lull, however, I can't tell you he's able to shut him down, but from the side, Yadda.com, DK Rupp cleans up three members, Amir Mesa High School A, which are now are two members, which are now down. And now they'll be chasing after Yahoo.com, DK Rupp looking for somebody here, can they catch up? Me throwing out the satchel charge, gonna be closing some. Oh no, 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 that's not the satchel charge. That's just the bomb. Gonna be closing some distance here, and looking for somebody. And they're gonna get the EQ come off onto Iron Sight. I can tell you though, is taking the damage. Ignite is down. DK Rub picks up the kill there. Iron Sight is looking to escape. Oh, Megan Freedom bomb a little bit too short there, and Iron Sight should be able to get away. And the kill lead has closed only to three. And still in favor of Mira Mesa High School, but Cerritos has been finding some very nice engages. And right there, they engaged way too hard on Lucian. New Wait, Yahoo.com was able to get so much free damage on the enemy team, especially with his Mega Inferno Bomb. Yeah, so actually we're seeing the Baron being set up here 33 minutes in Cerritos High School starts up the Baron. And we'll see what they can do with this one here as it's going down. Mirror Mesa High School A is surrounding the pit, seeing if they can go for something. There's a solo flare out on the Baron, he dodges out of the stun, he tries to go in, he oh does not get the Baron. However, they're going in for the team fight, they're bunched up here, but Brandon is too far, he doesn't have the backup just yet, Mufasa going down, Brandon is going down, flawless though, he's taking up three members. Of Mira Mesa High School A, Ironside going down. There is the auto attack shut down by Yahoo.com. Mega Freedom Bomb picks up the kill. Double kill coming out. This is going to be the ace as a triple kill for Yahoo.com. Picks up the final member of Mira Mesa High School A. And they find the Baron, the ace, only losing one member of their team. And now they're charging down the middle lane. And uh, Jinx wasn't able to get any damage on, on, at all on. Serious high school. Mundo was in her face the whole fight. Like, they couldn't do anything right there. Yeah, so this will be the inhibitor going down. As Cerritos High School is able to find it. They actually might be going for more here. That all five members of Mir Mesa are just respawning in a few seconds, but they're going for the Nexus. They can pick up the victory right here off of the ace, off of the Baird, and that will be the Nexus going down. Cerritos High School comes into this game. And they find the victory in this best of three series against Mira Mesa High School. A Cerritos High School picks up the victory. We'll have to see how they fare in the next game in the High School Star League League of Legends Winter Championship Semifinals. And I'd like to say Yahoo.com, he really played well. When 
Iron Sight got really good engages with the Shockwave. He was able to get like two to three targets, but Yahoo.com, he was able to get the entire team with his Mega Infernal Bomb, which did immense amounts of damage to the enemy team. And they were able to win the game off Yahoo.com's perfect team fighting, along with New Era, LOL, and his Lucian play. Yep, so this will be the first game of the best of three series. Guys, we'll be right back with you with the second game coming up. Before we play, do that, we'll play a very quick commercial break. And we'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors, which are Twitch, Jinx, Battlefy, and Gunners. So you guys can go ahead and check out all the information about the High School Star League Winter Championship. I'll throw a link into the uh, chat down below if you want to check out the prizing, you know, the brackets and whatnot, or what teams are playing, or what schools are playing pretty much. Also, if guys at high schools, you want to uh, you want to play in the High School Star League, we do have the spring semester coming up for the Season 1. I'm going to be throwing down the Reddit thread for just the registration post. You can find more information about it there. Go ahead and check it out. So, guys, we'll be right back to you with the second game of this best of these series between Cerritos High School and Mira Mesa High School. Hey, Cerritos High School is up one game. We'll be right back. <laughs> 